the project has been awarded uh, BRIAM Excellent as well as the RIBA Sustainable uh, Building of the Year Award. And with that, um, we've also have some innovation within the project as well, which includes the introduction of a labyrinth pipe work that sits underneath the piazza. So when you arrive um, up the large piazza to the main entrance of the building, you're actually walking over um, metres and metres of pipes buried in the ground, which bring fresh air in underneath the seating and near the trees. And that fresh air comes in and is treated either slightly warmed or slightly cooled and taken into the lecture space, reducing our energy consumption for the building significantly. The building also has uh, a large array of photovoltaics on the roof, 600 square metres, which sits above us. It also has grey water harvesting uh, for flushing the toilets and water retention within the central courtyard as well. One other key feature of the project was actually the introduction of large areas of seed and roofs, um, which provide obviously habitats for uh, birds and uh, wildlife etc, but also slow the rate of rainwater from the roofs into the drainage system around the project. Another important aspect of the building was when we first started working on it, we were very aware of the orientation of the project and therefore every facade needs to be treated differently depending on the east, south or west facade and therefore each facade as you walk around you'll notice that they actually have a completely different way of dealing with this particular issue and therefore on the east side allowing the sun in in the mornings is a good thing. Um, but on the west side it's a very bad thing to allow the sun in in the afternoon. So you'll see with either a series of um, blades in terms of glass or a frit or different ways we've managed the window systems, we've managed to control this particular um, problem with lots of buildings of this particular scale. Before this project was completed, um, Oxford Books uh, University's main campus here at Gypsy Lane had very poor external environment. There's very uh, little amount of space for students to go out and enjoy the space either to talk with friends or to study and therefore a key element of this project was both to produce the buildings that they needed but also to create lovely courtyards that the students could relate to um, from inside to out so you'll see as you walk around it's quite easy to traverse from the inside of the building to the outside as if the two work seamlessly together. 